welcome back to my channel and happy Sunday. Today is meal prep day. That is why I have this. Zero makeup, my hair thrown up. It's one of those days where I just stay home and I relax and I meal prep and I get ready for the week. I also clean my house, do my laundry, so it's a really busy day. I don't typically leave the house, so there's no reason to get all makeup teared up. So if you want to see what I made this week for meal prep, I have three separate items for you. I have my breakfast, my lunch, and then a snack. Stay tuned. For breakfast this week, I decided to go ahead and make a breakfast sandwich. I can pre-make these and then just warm them up when I get to work each day. So what I'm going to put on my sandwich is I'm going to make it with two slices of the Sara Lee Delightful Bread. I'm going to fry up one egg. Two slices of the Private Selection Center Cut Bacon is only one smart point. So I'm going to add two slices of bacon and then one slice of the Jarlsberg Light Cheese, which is also one point. So this breakfast sandwich will only be a total of four smart points. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my bacon in the oven. I do usually cook my bacon on a cookie sheet. You can see here I did line it with parchment paper and that makes cleanup a lot easier. I am going to go ahead and put this in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes and that fries your bacon up perfectly and is a lot less mess than cooking it on the stove. So you can see here that I did cook all of the bacon. I'll just put the extra pieces in the fridge. So let's get this bacon in the oven. The next thing I'm going to do is get my eggs going. You can see here that I've cracked two eggs. One will be for each sandwich. And I'm just going to season my eggs really easily with some of this Trader Joe's seasoning salt. And then I'm going to season them with just some ground black pepper. And I did spray my pan with some of the Trader Joe's coconut oil spray. And I'm gonna go ahead and make these eggs over hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack the yolks. It just makes the eating of the sandwich a little bit easier. While my eggs are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get all of my bread toasted. So I have uh, two slices for each day that I'm putting here into my toaster. And again, that's this Sara Lee Delightful bread. And then the bread will be ready to assemble the sandwich. All right, fruit is washed, grapes are destemmed and washed, and now I'm going to just let these guys here dry up a bit and we will bake these up for the week. And my breakfast sandwich components are done. You can see here that I have bacon, eggs, the Jarlsberg light Swiss cheese, my bread toasted, and then my saran wrap ready to wrap up these sandwiches. So let's assemble the sandwiches. So for each sandwich I'm going to need two slices of the Sara Lee 45 calorie bread. To that, I'm going to add one over hard egg, and then I'm going to add one slice of the Jarlsberg light cheese, and then I'm going to add two slices of the Private Selection Center Cut bacon. So I'm just gonna break that in half, and then my top of my sandwich, and then we'll wrap that in some saran wrap, and it'll be very easy to reheat. We'll just pop it out of the saran wrap and put it on a paper towel, and the bread honestly will still have that crispiness that it had um, straight out of the toaster. So this is exactly how I'm going to assemble my five sandwiches for the week. All right, so here's my breakfast for the week. You can see that I have a total of five of my breakfast sandwiches, one for each day. And then I did bag up five bags of the black seedless grapes. So this will be my breakfast along with my per the usual cup of coffee. For the main part of my lunch this week, I'm going to make homemade pizza bagels. I am so excited about these because I love bagels and pizza and you put those together and what could be better. So here's what I'm going to be using on my pizza bagels. So the first thing I have are these Western bagel baglets. These are the roasted onion. You can have one of these for one point or two of these for three points. I have the Trader Joe's light mozzarella, which is one ounce for one smart point. I have Hormel turkey pepperoni. You can have one serving of this pepperoni for two smart points. And then in my bowl here, I have the Skinniest Dish Zero Point Crock Pot Marinara. So this is everything that are going to be on my pizza bagels. So the first thing we need to do is get our bagels in um, 
to the oven so that we can crisp these up just for a few minutes before we add our toppings. So I'm going to have two of these baguettes each day. So I'm just going to spread these out evenly on a sheet pan. You can see that I do have some parchment paper down. Again, it's easier cleanup and it just really makes the whole process a little bit easier. Um, you can pop the parchment paper off to cool your bagels as well. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get these bagels out on my sheet pan, and then we will get them into the oven just to crisp up for just a few minutes. And again, I am going to have two of these bagelettes each day. You can see here that I have all my bagels halved and on my cookie sheet, I need a total of 10 bagelettes, which is two per day, and that's exactly what I have. So I am going to spray these with just a little bit of nonstick cooking spray, and that will just help them brown up a little bit and give them a little bit um, nice brown glow. So I'm gonna put these in the oven for about five minutes, and then we'll assemble our toppings. All right, so I just took my bagels out of the oven. They do have a little crispy coating on top, which is exactly what I wanted. So from here, we're gonna dress these with our toppings. So the first thing I have here is the skinniest dish marinara sauce. So I do just wanna put a little bit of marinara on each half of my bagel. And that's just gonna also help those toppings stick. And this marinara is amazing. I did make it in my most recent meal prep video. So you'll have to check that out so that you guys can see how to make the marinara but we are going to put a little bit on each bagel. And then I have measured out on my food scale one ounce of the Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella, which is one smart point. And then you can have five slices of the turkey pepperoni for zero smart points. So you can see that I have two and a half slices that I'm going to put on each part of my bagel. So I'm gonna put two and a half slices on each half of my bagel. And then I'm going to top that with half of an ounce or half of this amount of the Trader Joe's shredded mozzarella. These look so good, so good. Uh, so there is a full ounce divided between the two of the Trader Joe's mozzarella. And then I'm just gonna top them with just a bit of oregano just for that extra Italian flavor. And then I will complete the rest of these halves and we'll pop these back in the oven to melt that cheese. There's our pizza bagels. You guys, these look so good. So this whole row is one serving. So it's going to be an amazing lunch. I'm gonna pop these in the oven and I'll be back when that cheese is melted. While well, our pizza bagels are in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my meal prep trays with my vegetables for the week. So I have these Brussels sprouts in the frozen section of Trader Joe's. And then I do have just a little bit left of this Trader Joe's corn. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my vegetable containers uh, the two sides with a mix of the Brussels sprouts and the corn. I don't have an additional side item that I want to have this week, so I figured I might as well just double up on my vegetables, and then that way I can use up the rest of that corn and then use up my bag here of these Trader Joe's Brussels sprouts, which I love Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to go ahead and just add as even as I can amount of Brussels sprouts to each paint, um, meal prep dish. And then I am just going to sprinkle in just a little bit of corn as well in each of my meal prep dishes. And then that way I can use up these frozen vegetables that have been sitting in my freezer. And it never hurts to have a double dose of vegetables with your lunch. And then I will be putting my pizzas in these big compartments of my meal prep containers. And then that way I can just warm everything up all at once. And that's the ticket with these meal prep containers is not to put something in one of these compartments um, that you don't want to warm up. So there you have it. As soon as those pizza rolls come out we'll, or pizza bagels come out, we'll get those in here as well. 
our pizza bagels are out of the oven. Look at those, they look so good. I'm going to let them just cool a bit and we'll get these put into the meal prep containers. All right, let's get our pizza bagels into our meal prep containers. So again, I am going to have four halves each day. So I think the best way to do this, I wasn't sure um, if they would all fit, but it looks like I'm probably going to do three in the big compartment here. And then I think that fourth bagel, I'll end up putting in the vegetable container. So I'll just put the vegetables all in one side. I wasn't sure how it was all gonna play out. So I'm gonna have to take advantage of this third compartment after all to store all my pizza bagels. So let me put the last little half, that guy in that extra compartment. There you have it. So we've got all three of our pizza bagels in the big one and then that extra in there. And then the last thing I wanna do to these vegetables is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then I usually just use some spray butter that I keep at work to put on as well. So there's some pepper. And then this is a completed meal prep. So I'll get the rest of these full and I'll show you my final lunches. All right, and there are my completed meal preps. Look at how good that looks. So this entire lunch, this portion of my lunch, the only thing that has points are our pizza bagels. And these pizza bagels are four smart points for all four. So essentially one smart point a piece. So this is a four smart point lunch. All right, and here you have it. So there's my pizza bagels and vegetables for the week. With this, I'm also going to have a yogurt. I have a variety here of Oikos and the Light and Fit. So just kind of whatever sounds good each day. And then I have some raspberries baked up as well that I will take for my fruit. I usually have a fruit with breakfast and a fruit with lunch. And then of course, I always have my two little Smart Sweets uh, Halloween size bags for one point as my dessert. Now I do have a code for the Smart Sweets. They do have their holiday gummies out which are amazing um, so I'm going to put that code here on the screen and link it in the description box below but my meal prep container is four points depending on the yogurt I eat it's either three or two raspberries are zero and then one for the smart sweets so my lunches will range anywhere from eight to nine or I'm sorry seven to eight smart points depending on what yogurt I choose so this is my lunches I'm really excited about these protein muffins. This is going to be part of my snacks for the week. And then I'm going to leave some in the fridge for my husband as well. But I am making a fruity cereal milk protein muffin. So excited for these. So here's what is in our muffins. We have the buttermilk flavor of the Kodiak cakes. We have this ghost whey protein. And as you can see, this is the fruity cereal milk flavor. A sweetener of your choice, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Stevia in the raw. You'll need some sort of milk or milk alternative, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this Almond Breeze Creamy. Some vanilla extract, non-fat Greek yogurt, an egg, and then I'm going to add some blueberries to mine, but you really could add whatever frozen fruit that you want to. So here is what is in our fruity cereal milk protein muffins. Let's get started on our protein fruity cereal muffins. So we are going to combine everything into our bowl and then we are gonna use our hand mixer and combine. So I have one half cup of unsweetened almond milk. And again, you can use any milk or milk alternative of your liking. We also need one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of vanilla. We need one egg. Careful not to get your shells in there. I'm notorious for that. So there is our one egg. And then we need three quarters of a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt. So there's three quarters of a cup. Uh, with yogurt, I do like to measure it on my food scale. Um, it is a lot easier for me than trying to shove it all into a three quarter cup. So this was measured out on my food scale. And then I have one cup of the buttermilk Kodiak cakes. And then I have one half cup of the sweetener of your choice. So this is that stevia in the raw. And then the last thing that goes in our muffins is our ghost 
fruity cereal milk protein powder and we want two scoops so look at that this protein powder is very fluffy which I like that makes it really good for baking when your protein powder is on the fluffy side so there is our two scoops of our ghost fruity cereal milk protein and then we are just going to take our mixer and just mix everything until combined and then we will get this into our muffin tins now if you feel that your mix is too thick you can always add a little bit more of that almond milk to it um, but one half a cup seems to be a pretty good amount to make your batter the right consistency so we'll get this mixed up and we'll get it in our muffin pan so here's our mix for our muffins it's kind of a pink color and literally you guys it smells like fruit cereal milk so that's crazy and then you can see I've lined my muffin cups with these large um, eco-friendly baking cups I am going to give those a quick spray uh, just to make sure that our muffins don't stick when we go to pull them out of the wrapper and then we will divvy out our mix we need to make 12 muffins to keep our smart points uh, where I calculated them so I am going to use a cookie scoop and I'm just going to start with one scoop per muffin and then I will go back through and add additional mix as needed. I do want to make sure that I get 12 muffins and that my muffins have an equal amount of the mix. So it looks like I'm probably going to be able to do two scoops per muffin, but I just want to be safe. So I am going to just start with one scoop per muffin. Once our muffin, muffin cups are filled, you do want to kind of whack them down a little bit to flatten out your mix. And then we are going to add just a few of these frozen blueberries to each of our muffins. Um, and then that way uh, we get that little bit of blueberry with our fruity cereal milk. So I don't know, just five or six or so per muffin. I know that these will probably end up sinking to the bottom. I just don't want to take the time to flour them before I put them in my muffin. So I'm okay with sinking blueberries. So we'll get those in each of our little muffin cups and then we will be ready to put these in the oven and we're going to put these in the oven at 350 um, until we can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean so it probably will take about 10 to 15 minutes to get these muffins cooked so our fruity cereal milk protein muffins are out of the oven and as you can see a uh, drum roll please my blueberries did not sink yay so these are our muffins the smart points on these are only one smart point per muffin and these, you guys, are amazing. I will link that Ghost uh, Fruity Cereal Milk Protein in the description box below. You can get that at GNC. So that is the one that I will link. And then, of course, if you have a local GNC, you can hit that one up for this protein powder. But yes, these muffins are going to be part of my snacks for the week. Along with my Fruity Cereal Milk muffins, these are some additional snacks that I have planned for the week again I don't eat all of these items every day the only two items that I will eat every day are the carrots and the built bar so here is what I am bringing for snacks in addition to my fruity cereal milk muffins first I have some baby carrots bagged up in these little snack size bags that way I do get that extra dose of vegetables so I will be having that every day as I have five little baggies filled as you know I'm obsessed with these gingerbread crisps from Trader Joe's these things are the best things on earth. So I am just going to throw this little box of crisps in my desk. And then that way I have them on hand if I'm wanting those. I have a couple extra bags of my white cheddar pop chips that I baked up this last week. So I am going to throw those in my desk drawer as well. You can see here that this amount of pop chips, I keep saying pop chips, poppables is two smart points. And then of course, without fail, I always, always, always every day eat my Built Bar. So I will bring a variety of flavors of Built Bar to work as well. My discount codes are still valid for these. If you haven't tried them, I highly, highly recommend that you do. These are seriously the best protein bar on earth. They taste like a candy bar and they are only three smart points on WW, no matter what plan you follow, whether it's uh, freestyle or points plus or classic points. My codes will be listed in the description box below. But again, you can get six bars for $3 using the code JENSWWSAMPLE. There is free shipping on that as well, you guys. So 50 cents a bar, or you can get a full box of a single flavor or a variety pack 
for $10 off, getting 16 bars for $22 using the code JENSWWJOURNEY. Free shipping on that as well. So don't miss out while these codes are still valid. These bars seriously are a game changer on WW. So these are my additional snacks that I'm packing for the week. Thank you for coming along on this week's meal prep. I hope that you enjoyed all three recipes. My bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich. My pepperoni pizza bagel bites. Yum. And my fruity cereal milk protein muffins. So I hope that you enjoyed my recipes. I will link them all in the description box below. And if you haven't already, I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Give my video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you think of this week's meal prep. What do you have planned for the week? How are you planning on staying on track? And again, we're all in this together. So let's do this even throughout the holiday season. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.